Hello FXB Handtech, welcome to my channel. I really like this product. It's a car jumper and it works well. I've looked at the reviews, I've seen many, many videos and this will start your car, your van, your truck. It will do it and it's so small and compact and comes in a nice case. It also has a bright torch and is a power bank and it's 5,000 milliamp hour and it's lithium batteries. Let's take it out the package and have a look. I got really lucky with this item because I got it for £64 brand new from Amazon. There's a really good website, you know, from AC Mount. So let's just take this out. Oh, wow. And that's perfect to put in the boot of your car. You're not even hardly going to notice it. It's not taking up any room at all, if you ask me. And it's actually not that heavy, which is a surprise. I thought it'd be heavier than that. Nice little carry strap there. Good quality, sort of portable car feel. To the you know to the whole design of the case there let's take it now i'm a ham radio operator as you can see there with my ham radio so i'm going to use the i'll be using the power bank quite a lot to charge up because many devices these days they come with usb c or it doesn't matter micro usb whichever one you've got is going to work now it's quite a brick see if i get it out there now i've never used it yet although i might i've had it recommended to me by my brother and i've watched many videos on the item so yes, it's, it's actually smaller than I expected, but in a good way. So this was a, the, the lower priced item, although it is the five, if I get it right, 5,000 milliamp hour device. Just take it out of the box. That's the USB-C in for charging. And then you've got two USB outs. There's your, your torch. This one isn't the one that's got the sort of hammer built in. Um, this is for connecting your jump start tool that will Look at in a second there. Put that down. In the other pouch, we have a zip just holding everything neatly into place. And we have the main jump starting module there. And some instructions, the USB-C charging lead. Got many of them lying around. This is the, the box of tricks that actually starts your car. Now it has what they call a, a power boost button. You plug this into the device. Now I haven't charged it up yet, but you plug it in. And when you connect the two terminals, you've got the red to the plus and the black to the minus, you get a green light and it's ready to start your car. So we'll test it on a battery. Um, so let's just show you where that plugs in. Just here like so and plug that in starts flashing straight away now i don't know if it's going to go green because i haven't actually connected it to a battery yet it sort of tells you when the battery is ready but we have got some batteries lying around we can have a little look in a second so for now let's unplug that we're gonna we will plug that into a battery and yeah, like I say, it's got a waterproof seal there. Now there's no waterproof seal here. There are on other models, just bear that in mind. If you go for the lower cost, you might lose some of the features. So there's your, your you press this here and you're seeing how, you know, how much charge you've got in there. So if I hold it pressed, torch. Yeah, that's a nice bright torch. And I think that's the basics of that. I haven't read the instruction manual yet. Let's get that out and have a quick look. I notice that with the torch, if you press again, it starts to flash. So that'd be good for emergencies. Hold it down. I should turn it off. Quick look. Here's the happy that you are pleased with the product thing. So you can do, leave a review and then an instruction manual there. Like so. I'm just going to see what information can be accessed from the, the display icons that we're seeing there. Yeah, so the way it works is you plug items in. It says USB one, if I plug two items in, which I will do now. Now to bring it to life, you do have to press that button. I noticed that the item didn't turn on until I, until I, you know, uh, push that button. I'm just gonna plug something else in. We've got, so we can see the USB two. Like so, yeah, that's USB 2. And I've got quite a bright floodlight here. So let's plug that in, because that's going to draw a decent amount of power. And uh, see what it says there. So you can see it's gone a bit darker in the background. 
not a lot darker so we'll unplug that and then we'll get my little floodlight plug it in turn that on yeah and it's look no problem at all look at that uh, so i'm completely confident that i could take this on a picnic i could take you know i could pretty it's a very portable item in my caravan on my boat to start my car so let's just take it and put it onto a battery that I've got lying around and put the starter section on and see if we can just, you know, see what we see. We haven't got a car to start, but we can just test it out. But so far, so good. So here's the car, let's pull the bonnet. Okay, so we're at the car and what we're gonna do is plug in our module, make sure we don't drop it, into the, take off the red tab. Just comes off like so. Okay, and then we're gonna plug in the module looks like it only goes one way round. That way round there, you've got the square. You can't get it wrong. And it will just slot into there. We'll push that in firmly. As soon as you push it in, it is flashing a red light there. Now, you still need to be careful, I think, but these are insulated. And you're looking to put the, the plus just there, very well marked. This is a Peugeot 308. And then you're going to be looking for an earth, basically. Anything that's on the body is going to act as an earth, but just need to make sure you've got a, a you know some good contact there and then you'll see if that light starts to go green so we've just got it on a nut here okay there's a little nut just there let's see if that light goes green you'll see there flashing away and I did sort of push the button just to make sure everything was on Okay, I've had a much better way of connecting just here on a Peugeot 308, well, well worth knowing. Look, it's now clicking and it wants me to try and start the car, but it's going to start fine because the, the batteries wasn't flat to start with. And I would say just make sure that this, you know, when you, if you are going to do this, just make sure that you've got that in a secure place where it can't just fall off. And um, we'll just quickly turn the key just for fun of it anyway. Look at that, it literally started so fast. And there you are, doing its thing. Thanks for watching my channel, bye for now, all the best. Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the AC mount jump starter and USB power bank with built-in torch. Now, I've got one of these in the UK, it was only about 65 pound. It will literally start a truck, it's that powerful. It has the you know the jump start module that you can see plugged into it at the moment on the left just here with the jump connectors. Now they are quite short, bear that in mind. There's a torch at the top and then you've got information on the side there for usage. There's a waterproof sealed USB connectors on the left hand side there and on the right hand side it also there you can see it at the bottom is where you connect your jump start pack you don't actually need to use that all the time so I think this is a must have item for any caravan car truck if you break down keep it fully charged it's going to start it's definitely going to start i've seen the reviews this thing will work or just power all your items uh, you know all your smartphones and you know just because it's got so much uh vump to it let's say um it's, it's going to work very well for you there is a process of connecting the the plus and the negative connectors there crocodile style connectors you hold you connect them on the side of the module there at the bottom uh, there is a button you you hold it pressed and then when it goes when the light goes green then it's ready it's got all the you know it's got the juice the punch ready to start your car but otherwise for general use this is what you you will use it for most of the time it's going to work well so amazon link in the description they're only about like i said 65 pound but i there was a discount offer so just scrolling up at the different products that ac mount have it's quite a few it's quite a big choice here they've got a budget option there looking at this 40 odd in the UK 40 odd pounds and then you just go up from there the one I got is the 5000 milliamp hour one which is here and I did get a bargain on it you can see it there it's on sale at the moment uh, very impressive website indeed now let's scroll through the pit the photographs of the one that I have purchased uh, I'll put the link in the description for their website as well as the item that we're talking about quick scroll through some of these very good quality photographs so you can see there how to connect the item to your car 
some nice clear imagery there and how it connects. You've got the button on the side which says the word boost and that's the one you hold down I believe for three seconds before it starts the car and the light goes green as well. In this photograph we're seeing the torch, the display information and then you can see some items being charged there like a smartphone. Nice clear visuals to let you know what's going on. Nice bright torch. Now I believe one end has a metal plate which can be used like a hammer. It's a lithium battery and it has been waterproofed. So check it out, of course we'll be unboxing and testing this item and seeing how it works, lots of good reviews there. Thanks very much, 7.3, thanks for watching my channel, my techie channel. Bye for now, all the best.